Having just celebrated the feast of Saints Peter and Paul, the Church gives us another feast of Roman saints, all the martyrs of Rome who were killed in the first persecution of the Church that occurred during the reign of the Emperor Nero. Hello, Father James Kubicki here. I always find myself inspired by the example of martyrs, men, women, and children who were willing to lose their lives rather than renounce their faith. I admire their courage and wonder whether I could be so strong. Here's something Pope Benedict said about the martyrs last year. Where does the strength to face martyrdom come from? From deep and intimate union with Christ. Because martyrdom and the vocation to martyrdom are not the result of human effort, but the response to a project and call of God. They are a gift of His grace that enables a person, out of love, to give his life for Christ and for the Church, hence for the world. If we read the lives of the martyrs, we are amazed at their calmness and courage in confronting suffering and death. God's power is fully expressed in weakness, in the poverty of those who entrust themselves to Him and place their hope in Him alone. Dear brothers and sisters, we are probably not called to martyrdom, but not one of us is excluded from the divine call to holiness, to attain the high standard of Christian living, and this entails taking up a daily cross. All of us, especially in our time, when selfishness and individualism seem to prevail, must take on as a first and fundamental commitment the duty to grow every day in greater love for God and for our brothers and sisters, to transform our own lives and thereby transform the life of our world too. Through the intercession of the saints and martyrs, let us ask the Lord to set our hearts on fire so that we may be able to love as He has loved each one of us.